Last week you saw the Donier 31 hover uh, in our garden just on stabilization engines. And today we're going to add this back pack assist unit. So we are using a JP 90 millimeter mo uh, motor, uh, 12 S setup, high voltage. And we're going to add them today, wire up the, the motors. And at the end of the video, we're going to try a new hover, but with totally of 11 EDFs. This is going to be cool, so guys, hang on. Let's work. Okay, today's plan is to add this Pegasus wire up with 10 AWG wires and do our first thrust test. We should be having 8 kilos of thrust out of this Pegasus unit, and from each spot, we should have like 3.5 kilos. By the way guys, this is our new big 3D printer. We will be able to print the entire fuselage out of two pieces. <laughs> it's really, really amazing and cool and it will save a lot of time of gluing and so on. Okay, let's continue the build. Okay, um, the model is coming along. The two Pegasus units are installed. Uh, next step is to add the Lipos. These are um, high voltage 6S uh, powerful Lupo. They are uh, 4.35 volts each cell. So this will give an extra RPM to the, to the motors. Um, but this XC60 is a little bit of a bullshit uh, plug. So we're going to add eight millimeters of plugs Toch, Julia? Yeah. Oké. Okay. Dus zo, so, let's continue the build. Ja. Dus, Julia? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, duimpje. So yesterday evening I finished up all the wiring, also really important, we're going to fly it on high voltage, so two six packs uh, on um, high voltage, serial connected, and I'm really excited how fast and how long we can fly. So the total weight now without the landing gear, including LiPos, is 8 kilos, and we should have around 14 kilos of thrust. Yeah, so let's try and continue. <laughs> 